multiple thoughts this morning as I come to you. Um, I'm driving. I've been, been driving a couple hours, and um, I keep seeing all these little churches beside the roadway that are grown up, closed, obviously closed. Um, grass grown up, weeds grown up, um, boarded up. Um, these are little places that I bet were completely on fire for God. They're little places. Some are community places. They're like, those are usually your Holy Ghost places. Your big churches, um, not what I'm talking about. But these little places, you know, where old time saints of God would come and just, I mean, get their praise on and worship this God that they served all week long, not just for a service on Sunday. But I've been thinking, you know, I put my navigation on and um, this time I had it set for the shortest route. And I know where I'm going. I'm basically get there. But um, I thought, well, I'm going to just see how the navigation does in this vehicle. And because uh, you need to know that. You need to try out your tools and see what you got. And um, kind of like the words, you need to try out your tools and know what you got. Or you can't use the sword when you need it. Um, you can't go into battle with untried tools. Don't believe me? Ask David. He had to shuck off all that stuff and go in with what he knew. And that's why we have life experiences. Because we need to go in with what we know. Um, if you've already cared the, killed, you know, the lion and the bear or whatever in your life, you know what your tools are. You know what they can do. You know what power is within you. If you've never faced anything, how strong are you in the battle? Um, that's usually the ones that tuck tail and run It'd be when because they, they don't know what to expect. They don't know. They haven't tried their tools. So this is telling me the shortest route, and it keeps trying to take me off on um, um, dirt roads and this and that and weirdness. And, and I just shaved off like one minute by driving past the road. I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Well, then I went by another one, and it told me to take that, and I was like, mm, I ain't doing that. So then it shaved off another six minutes, you know, and I'm like, you can't always do what you're told. You can't always do what happens with untested tools. Everybody else isn't on your calling. Maybe they didn't catch the vision that you caught. Um, so don't let other people dissuade you on this path of life. And just because it's the shortest route, and we all want to get there quickly, um, whatever it is, whether it be our calling, that we just want to jump into it, whether it be life, whether it be relationships, whether it be whatever, we want to jump in and do the shortest route to get there. But y'all, the shortest route isn't always the best route for us. Use wisdom, use experience, use the Lord's voice as your guide, um, and do the best. <laughs> I'm trying to go too fast, and she's slowing me down. Just like the Lord does. Thank you, God, for wisdom and experience. Thank you, God, for your still, small voice. Happy journeys.